Tim enters the venue during gun set. This allows Gun on stage to see Tim, thus reassuring him to sing at full strength. With Tim's full support, the band Gun made it to the final list. While the crowd prepares to go celebrate with a hog roast, Gun chooses to stay behind and be alone with Tim. Curious, he asked Tim why he was able to be there and cheer them on. Tim responded sweetly as well. With those words, Tim dropped his soft kiss on Gun's forehead. In the midst of this sweet moment, Tim suddenly said something bold. He said Gun can't expect more than that. If he wins the grand prize in the final, Gun and the others are excited that the band made it to the finals and decide to go on a beach vacation. In the evening, he called Tim and invited to come alone. The news sent ripples through Tim's mind, so Tim skillfully used the excuse of a student council member sounding and managed to get his mother's consent. He sees this trip to the beach as his and Gun's honeymoon. On the day of the trip, Sand, who was in the same group, brought the along with him as soon as he saw Tim. He then put on a displeased expression, even before getting in the car. It was obvious to Gun that there seemed to be something going on between Sound and Wynn. However, since Wynn doesn't know what happened either, Gun then dismissed the matter as a petty personal vendetta between the two men. After driving to the beach, the group enjoyed a fun time together by taking a dip in the water. Tim also seizes the opportunity to relax with Gun alone on the beach. However, their alone time was not long. The members of the orchestra approached to express their intention to go together to a very spiritual temple nearby to worship. Who would have thought that this otherwise fun-filled visit to the attraction? It is, however, rendered tasteless by the presence of its former president. Yep, Yap's presence puts a damper on all the entertainment that had been planned, and all the members except Tim and they have to attend Yak's devilish training. This bothers Tim a lot because he thinks it will ruin his date with Gun, and Yak's ridiculous training programs exhaust the crowd. Due to the need to use original music for the finals, Yank decided that sound and gun within the band would be responsible for writing the songs, while others continued with instrumental practice and physical training. For Gun, who is scheduled to write a song for the first time, he spoke with sound about how to get started creating. As a result, sound suggested that Gun try to write a love song. Sound then reveals that he has a crush on Win from the group, which surprises Gun. In hindsight, Gun worries that if sound confesses to Win, the worst that could happen is that the band breaks up. However, Gun seems to be a little too worried, as he overestimates Win's intelligence level. After Sound gets advice from Yak, he takes his songwriting to Win for review. Didn't realize Win was watching it. He went so far as to mock Sound for writing a song that matched his temperament. This upset Sound, who turns away. Thwarted on Win's side, Sound runs off to see the ocean alone to settle his mood. A heartbroken Gun walks up to comfort Sound and offers to tell Sound. He and Tim are in a secret relationship. The raptured Sound manages to come back to life. After listening to Chicken Soup, back inside, Sound first sees Win with food and water to please him. He also resumed smiling under Win's offensive of begging for coaxing. He boasted that he would recreate a love song about his mood. He'll have Win washing his hands of it again and waiting to see what happens. Gun spends his evenings getting worked up about songwriting. He couldn't sleep and fretted outside alone. And Tim found an opportunity to get close to him. It was beside Gun as he provided the contents of the various musical lines while his mind wandered. However, just as Tim was about to get a kiss, Gun shouted in time to stop Tim. In the end, Tim was left helpless and empty-handed. On the day of her children's trip, Gun's mother meets Tim's mother at the store who has come to buy coffee. The two chatted for a while before realizing that their children had gone to school together. In the course of a question-and-answer session, they almost debunked the excuses Tim had made on his outing. Luckily, Tim's mother ended the conversation because of an incoming cell phone call. In the evening, Yak led the crowd onto the stage and performed for a packed house. Sound, on the other hand, took the stage alone and performed a song he wrote himself. The lyrics are filled with feelings and thoughts about Wynn. After the show, Wynn found Sound, he candidly stated that he truly felt Sound's affection for him in the song. Instead of rejecting his relationship with Sound, he's willing to try the relationship out. As a result, the relationship between the two enters a state of ambiguity that is more than a friend and less than a lover. Sound has set writing goals and started to act on them. Yet here in Gun, it still goes nowhere. Even after some chanting from Yak, his confidence was completely lost. Seeing Gun in a creative rut, Tim approaches him and offers advice. He told Gun to not only think with his head, but also create with his heart. That's how you write songs that resonate with people. After a few days of separation from Tim, Gun, who has finally finished writing the song, comes to Tim's house one night. This allowed long sought after Tim to finally meet his lover and enjoy sweet moments with each other. However, after Gun presented the song he created to the team members, Sound and Wynn give feedback. They felt that although the tunes of the songs were good enough, they lacked emotion. So they suggested that Gun think again about how to make the work even better. His mother calls while Gun is at school and asks for his help to go shopping for spare parts for the store. 
However, as Gunn still needs to attend regimental practice, Tim volunteered to take this on. Instead of Gunn, he can't go shopping for goods needed by his future mother-in-law. However, when he delivers the item to Gunn's store, Gunn's mother collapsed on the ground due to health. Upon discovering this, Tim immediately rushed her to the hospital for emergency treatment. After the doctor's initial diagnosis, they believe that Gunn's mother's condition may worsen and require surgery. Considering Gunn's character, Gunn's mother asks Tim not to tell Gunn about this for the time being. As a result, Tim hides Gunn for the rest of the day. The orchestra will be competing soon. The band members, however, were concerned about the lack of supporters at the game. They decided to make their own posters and put them up around the school. When the learns of this, he immediately pointed out that the day of the competition conflicted with the master teacher's lecture. For selfish reasons, he was active in the radio classroom helping to preview the propaganda. This has enabled the members of the orchestra to succeed in gaining a large number of adoring supporters. Unable to hide the truth after all, Gunn's mother soon falls ill again and is taken to hospital. That's when Gunn realizes that Tim has been cheating on him all this time. It made him angry at Tim. However, when Dunn arrived at the hospital, instead, his mother fondly tells him what Tim has been doing all this time and the various things he's been doing to quietly watch over Gunn. The mother instructs Gunn to never let such a wonderful man be taken away from him so easily by someone else. After hearing his mother's words, Gunn quickly realizes his mistake. He rushed out after him, looking around for Tim. When he saw Tim, who still willingly bought food after being scolded, he immediately went up to Tim and hugged him and apologized and made up. During this experience, Gunn almost lost someone important. It gave him a lot of deep insights. He translates this mood into creative emotion. Eventually, he created a song that the band members unanimously praised. Meanwhile, Tim and his partner are looking forward to the final. However, Tim's mother seems to sense the object of Tim's affection, especially when she enters Tim's room and sees the image of Gunn displayed on her phone. Her expression became complicated. Over the next few days, the members of the orchestra did a variety of team practices in addition. They also designed and began selling support clothing at this suggestion. On the day of the finals, however, Tim is slow to see Gunn at the door, seeing that the members of the band had already arrived. Only Gunn was missing. This made Tim's mood very anxious. Turns out Gunn is there because his mother's surgery day was moved up to the same day as the finale. He wanted to be with his mother until she was safe. However, his mother listens and instead urges Gunn to hurry up and get to the game. She promises she will get through the surgery and be released safely from the hospital. That way Gunn didn't miss the game and made it to the game before the last minute. He was greeted by Tim as he entered the venue. During the final awards session, the crowd waited nervously for the presenter to announce the winners. Just then, Gunn gets the good news from Tim offstage that his mother's surgery went well. It was a relief for him to finally be able to wait with the other members for the final result of the match. Gunn and others failed to win in the finals, which left Gunn emotionally drained after the tournament. In addition to not participating in clubs for a while, he also seemed distracted in class. This worries Tim a lot. The mother, who is gradually recovering after a successful operation, told him how she felt after seeing her son play. He just has to do his best and be blameless. She hopes that Gunn will be able to get over it soon, look past it all and move on. In addition to his mother's concern, Tim made a point of bringing good news to Gunn. He told Gunn about the prom show program. He tells Gunn to regroup, accept the challenge, and gather the band members again. However, it wasn't just Gunn after the race. The other members were devastated and depressed. And Gunn is on the air at the student union. He was forced to interrupt the video to leave the club's group training because he couldn't sing, as the members of the society had to leave one after another. Par, the barbecue expert in the club, was not able to taste the barbecue. Originally prepared especially for the reunion of the members, they came to support him when he was down. The two enjoyed a sweet solo meal in the privacy of the club. While preparing to leave, Gore accidentally sprained his foot on the way down the stairs. This led to him showing up to class the next day in a cast. He blamed the string of misfortunes on not returning his wish after a previous visit to the temple. So the band members decided to go back to the last seaside temple for poor. Gunn invites Tim to go to the beach with him because he's going on vacation with the community. When a customer comes to the door, however, Gunn has to hand up. He turned around and was surprised to find that the customer who came to the store was Tim's mom. Tim's mom is more interested in finding out more about the relationship between Gunn and Tim than finding food. In the course of chatting with Gunn, she accidentally learns that Gunn wants her tin scene. She wanted to continue the conversation, but had to end it due to other customers in the store. Gunn told Tim about it afterward. Both think it's just a coincidence that Tim's mother went to the bar store. Then they stopped thinking about it and started the club's outing. This payback was full of twists and turns and challenges. Due to road construction, 
the crowd was unable to get to the temple by car and had to climb the trail on foot. Hunger and thirst plagued the group during the climb, and there were wounded soldiers to tend to. This caused the members, whose morale was already low, to start complaining. It eventually devolved into a debating assembly of mutual accusations. Fortunately, after a heated argument, everyone quickly realized their mistake and apologized. Everyone quickly repaired their friendships and moved on. Eventually they managed to reach the temple at the top of the mountain and accomplished the goal of returning the wish. At night, Tim's mom worries that her son's sexual orientation may be holding him back in life. However, the husband listened and said that no matter what the outside world thinks of Tim, they were all going to be his strongest backers to protect him. Meanwhile, Gun's side of the family is back to its daily barbecue festivities. The seniors of the club learned that the schoolboys failed to win the competition. The seniors made special calls to comfort them and encouraged them to keep up the good work. Beyond comfort, they also sang the song that Gun and others sang to encourage them when they lost the game. This has revitalized and restored the confidence of the club mates who have watched it. After completing the payback trip, Tim accompanied Gun back to his doorstep. Tim gave Gun a special music box. He said it's okay if he can't accept his feelings right now. He will wait for Gun until he goes to college or even works in the society. Gun listens but laughs and tells Tim that he misunderstood. There is no rule that a club has to win a competition to have a date. He then said he would talk to his mother about it first. This made Tim leave for home with a happy face. Once he got home, however, he saw his mom waiting in the living room. The mother and volunteered that she wanted to talk to her son about Gun. Though Tim's mom is eager to learn from her son about Tim's relationship with Gun. But on the verge of asking a question, she noticed her son's clenched hands. So she decided to give her son some more time to restrain her thoughts and change the subject. On the other hand, Gunn confesses his romantic relationship with Tim to his mother at the hospital. After hearing this, Gunn's mother smiled and expressed her support for her son's choice. His mother gave him a warm hug, making Gunn feel very touched and happy. Afterward, Gunn confesses his experience to Tim. After listening to it, Tim felt some regret. He hasn't had the courage to say it yet because he's worried that his parents might not be able to accept it. Gunn understands and agrees to have a secret relationship with Tim on campus. For now under the current circumstances, the current relationship between the two is only known to Tim's friends who have been around to try to help. However, the young couple soon faced a challenge. The two were secretly photographed in an intimate manner because of a filming event. When bring sound and the others to question Gunn, after seeing the photo from a friend, seeing that paper can hold fire, Gunn decides to stop hiding from his best friend and confesses that he is dating Tim. Other members of the community were informed of this. People were not too shocked and gave their blessings. Meanwhile, the groups win, and Sound made a public announcement of their relationship in the meantime. Tim's side of the story is more complicated than the accommodating attitude around Gunn. In addition to having to deal with a lot of talk from your peers on campus, even Jorn, who was highly admired by the student body, he is also disappointed to learn that Tim became student president because of Gunn. He thinks Tim is too focused on the music club and not doing his job. Jorn then threatens to quit the club, leaving Tim and the feeling helpless after Jorn leaves in a hurry. Gunn is outside and hears movement in the student union. For Tim's sake, he decided to sacrifice and dedicate himself. He published a clarifying article on an online platform and deliberately distanced himself from Tim on campus. Yet such behavior is heartbreaking to Tim. He finally decides to protect his hard-won relationship with Gunn against all odds. As Tim and Gunn face the pressure of rumors, my mother, who is a principal, has also seen messages in the group about complaints from parents and mentors. This puts her in a difficult decision between her workplace and her family. On the other hand, Jor comes to the student union to pack up his things shortly after he offers to quit the club, to seize it and also offers one last dissuasion, hoping that Jorn will think about it, as Tim only been privy to the music club for so long in his tenure. Tim and Gunn's romance soon spreads throughout the school. This incident made the lovers feel warm and fuzzy after seeing everyone's kindness. There are some staff members in the school whose behavior doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. They made some discriminatory remarks about Gunn while talking to people behind his back. He even went further and further, going so far as to involve Tim's mother. Just when Tim couldn't stand it anymore and decided to go up and teach Mr. Mo a lesson, Jorn, who overhears the conversation, but steps forward and punches the teacher in the face. Afterwards, Mr. Mo brought the three to the principal's office because of the beating. It was intended that the three would be severely punished. But who knows Tim's mother after hearing what happened? She only let the hands on Jorn do the review. She also warned Mr. So-and-so not to defame her son in public. Otherwise, she won't let him go. Tim's mother also apologized to her son afterward. She states that she didn't do it, giving Tim the courage to be willing to open up to him about it. After the storm, Gunn quickly rushes to the opening act of the prom. The two, who had the support of both parents, were more generous in showing their affection at the event. 
Gun also dragged him on stage with him to announce their romance as they sang their love song for him. Their mother, who is the principal of the school, also cheered for them from the stage, and it was a very warm and joyful scene. After prom, the group celebrated the last day of their high school careers. Not only has Shore not left the student council, he is ready to take over Tim's job and continue to fight hard. When and sound, the couple, on the other hand, were writing blessings on each other's clothes when they did. The duo also kissed each other deeply. He was also forced to come up and offered to take a picture when he took everyone's graduation picture. This leaves Fat, the only member of the band who has watched the members take off one by one. In tears, Tim arrives at the promised poolside to meet his date, and they to reminisce about the moments when they met. They rode on each other's backs and the official announcement was made. Gunn also had a final team practice, singing session with the band members afterward. Amidst laughter and tears, we all officially said goodbye to the club we had stayed in for three years. After graduation, Gunn came to Tim's house as a guest. The weather was very unlucky that day with a torrential downpour, which prevented Gunn from getting home. Luckily, Tim's father took it upon himself to help Gunn secure the opportunity for them to spend time together. On this day of universal celebration, Tim and Gunn finally got their wish and kissed happily.